So I thought I'd show you quickly how I'm tramming my machine. Um, I have a digital dial test indicator uh, on the arm. The magnetic base is over here. I've unscrewed the arm from the, mag the magnetic base and that's an M8 thread. I printed a PTG part which is essentially threaded in this part and then clamps onto a, a six millimeter gauge pin that goes into the spindle and holds it there. So what I've got it set up as is so that it can rotate through uh, the movement for the left, the right, the front and the back of the table. And this is on plane with the spindle. So if the spindle's wonky that way, there'll be more clearance on this side than on this side because the needle will be lifted up as it turns around. So essentially what I've been doing is placing the needle on one part of the bed and the important part here is to do front to back first because you adjust for front to back by shimming. So you need to have these spindle bolts loose or if you've got a round uh, spindle you need to shim the back of the spindle holder out before you can adjust for left and right because you need the spindle to be loose to be able to shim it. So what I've been doing is essentially moving this approximately over the lead screw at the front, zeroing it, it's 0.1 out, it's fine, 0.01 out, and then essentially rotating it to the back of the table uh, and measuring it there. Now, you, you essentially need to work out which way it needs to move, whether it needs to, whether the bottom of the spindle needs to come forwards or backwards. Um, if it comes backwards, if it needs to come backwards, you can shim at the top. If it needs to come forwards, you can shim at the bottom. I have shimmed at the bottom. There you can see there's two washers that I found that were the right size. Uh, one of them is a sort of concave shape. So as I tighten down these bottom bolts, it compresses so I can get the, the position almost exact with that front to back. Um, once you've done front to back, you can then do left to right. Um, so essentially what I've been doing is putting the dial test indicator on the right hand side of the table, approximately in the middle, and then zeroing it, lifting it up, turning it around, putting it on the left hand side of the table, and seeing what the measurement reads. And then depending on how far it's out, what I've been doing effectively is loosening off these top two bolts by about a quarter of a turn, and then using a, a mallet, smacking the top or the bottom of the spindle uh, to align it with the bed, uh, with the table. Now, it's very important to remember that you have to reset the dial test indicator after making any adjustments because you've changed the pivot point of your measurement. So if I put this over here and then zeroed it and then put it over here and it was out by 0.2, so I smacked the spindle, all of this stuff has been subjected to an impact and it's also changed the position of this. So your your measurement isn't valid anymore. So remember to re-zero your dial test indicator uh, after every adjustment. So you can see with a bit of shimming, I have at the front minus 0.02, on the right minus 0.01-ish. At the back, this is pretty close, minus 0.04 see there's a little bit of variation uh, just remember not to get it in any of the holes in the table and then over here we've got minus 0 0.03 and then no so there's still a little bit of variation um, front to back I think slightly more than left and right um, but this should be good enough for my purposes I think uh, otherwise if you can't get uh, washers or something like that if you've got shim stock that will work uh, the LDO kit comes with shim stock otherwise household tin foil you can just fold that over and over and over until you've got a shim of exactly the right thickness and that's all you need so yeah hope that helps um, just wanted to make this short so you can see the technique of actually how to go about doing this cheers